What's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. Um, it's been a while. It's been a while since I made a video about the military. I actually, I privated all my videos that went viral on my YouTube for the simple fact that I wanted to focus on my gaming stuff. But you guys click on my gaming videos asking me questions about the military. So I'm gonna do my best to help you guys make the best possible informed decision. Um, and you can have the best possible life you can when you join. Um, so there's two components of the military that are offered to you when you join as a civilian. Um, you can decide to be full-time active duty, which is basically you go to basic training, you go to the job training, and then they station you somewhere in the base. It could be in the United States, it could be overseas, and you perform your job duty for the rest of your contract. Sometimes you get called to deploy, sometimes you don't. Um, National Guard and Reserves, same exact thing, but the difference is, is that after basic training and their job training, they go back home and they only have to report to their base on, on certain times in the month. Um, sometimes they get extra... Um, extra opportunities to get active duty orders depending on your job um which obviously is more money i personally i volunteered for as much as i can so i get as much money as i can you feel me same benefits um the retirement definitely is better on the active duty side but i'm going to explain to you why um it's just better starting off as a uh, well it's better off transitioning to an officer so your best possible case scenario let's talk about which branches you should join the air force is the best 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 of the best for the simple fact that they have better lifestyles they have better leadership there's more of an emphasis on education on helping people out it's they really hear you out you feel me a lot of the leadership a lot of the people that are in charge care i'm not going to say none of the other branches care but in a branch for an example as the army and you join infantry obviously they're not going to it's go 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 you feel me and that's the best way to, to describe it without disrespecting any branch but the majority of the time when you have a mission that's like okay this is the mission and that's it and it's super important not that stuff in the air force is not important but do you rather be in the desert pulling security or do you rather be in the air force living at decent barracks you know being stationed somewhere nice having like more leeway more time to get your education all that good stuff and my emphasis on the air force as to why it's best because i'm a prior listed uh army soldier um and i was attached I, I was attached to tankers i was attacked we had light infantry guys attached to us um and i was deployed a couple of times and pulled uh security alongside with them and the lifestyle kind of sucks you feel me i love the experience and the leadership qualities that i gained from being from that i will suggest when you decide about joining if you should go reservist or active duty first i still think you could get the same amount of experience just through basic training alone but if you volunteer for stuff for an example in the national guard um i used to volunteer for deployments all the time and i got that that experience you know on the enlisted side so long story short get your enlisted experience probably do like a three-year contract while you are in your enlisted contract get your degrees get your bachelor's degrees take advantage of the benefits take advantage you go to school for free if you have the time to do it do it you feel me um and then when your first enlisted contract is over you can decide if you want to commission now commission officer is literally an airman or enlisted uh service member who has a bachelor's degree and they get paid more essentially they are the leaders they lead and they you know process the mission they give out the missions to the people below them and they make sure they execute the mission properly you feel me they give them the tools and the success and they you know that's basically long story short and that's what an officer does um it's a lot more admin jobs it's a lot of more desk jobs you do not the majority of the time you're not as much in the field with the enlisted people but you're still there um, usually it's older people who are, who are officers that have prior enlisted experience that they take with them that makes them a good leader you feel me and then for me for an example like I'm old like if I tell y'all how old I am like y'all would never believe me but I look young because I take care of myself you feel me so it really doesn't matter what age you are as long as you're fit you're healthy you're motivated you get your college degrees um, and you can become an officer you could commission uh, the money's good same benefits free health care once you retire for the rest of your life obviously you take out of your check while you're in uh dental 
housing is good you get a uh based on the zip code of the area that you get stationed at if you go active duty you get housing you don't get housing in the national guard unless you're on active duty orders and then there's also certain stipulations that come with that for an example when i was deployed i was like hey these are the bills that i'm paying and they gave me a percentage of each bill and i saved my money you know paying my bills off while i was deployed stuff like that uh, when you get called on active duty orders while you're in the guard, which is a piece of paper that says, hey, this person's gonna be full-time from this time to this time, you get more benefits. Active duty, you get that automatically, so you really don't have to worry about volunteering. Um, I will say, when it comes to joining, um, obviously it's a sacrifice. You gotta be willing to sacrifice. So I really don't recommend people who will have kids, um, unless, obviously you wanna give a better life to them and you are able to, um, but, don't get you dummies get married when, as soon as you join the military if you got a family if you got kids if you got a wife if you got a husband and you plan on joining it's going to be difficult it's going to be difficult it's not impossible but it's going to be difficult so in the air force probably is your best bet to do it um with that being said if you're just young and you just want to get your foot out there you don't know if you want to go to college yet but you still thinking about it you just want to make some money maybe you're fresh out of high school with zero job experiences working at a freaking walmart or something like get out there you feel me in the air force i traveled a lot for the little amount of time like i traveled a lot for the army but the, for the little amount of time that i've been in the air force i traveled a lot too um and i will say in the middle in army deployments because all i could talk about is the army i was in the middle of a desert pulling security a deployment in in the air force my lifestyle was 10 times better i'm not going to tell you what i did because it was recent but long story short you trading apples for uh for freaking apple pies i guess i, I don't really you, actually you trading a rotten apple for a fresh apple let's put it like that you feel me and some people like it some people like being in the mud being in the desert um i definitely liked it at the time but i was i'm not gonna do it for the rest of my life you feel me because it's it's just eventually it's gonna put a toll on your body and your mentality and it's gonna take away from you know your life it's all about how as much as you could get out the military not what the military could get out of you that's what you guys should really think and that's the mentality you should have when you join what can you do how much money you can make all that good stuff um so i hope this answered a couple of questions um should you join hell yeah but if you don't have the mental capacity if you've been fed a silver spoon your entire life you it might not be right for you you feel me it might not be right for you with that being said if you're willing to take a change and, and step out of your comfort zone um, and you're willing to be uncomfortable to become, you know, and have a solid career in the military, go for it. You feel me? Go for it. As far as being fit, every little, every single military branch, the more uh, cardio based as far as like how much you run, it's probably the best. Like a lot of the people that have long lasting careers in the military, a lot of them are skinny and toned. You could be jacked, obviously, but you're running a lot. I mean, you're running essentially every day. You know, you wake up four in the morning. Uh, but what's cool about the Air Force is that when you're active and let's say you're already maxing out your PT test, you know, you can do personal PT. You feel me? Um, the difference between the Army and the Air Force is that the Army has hundreds and hundreds of jobs and the Air Force does too. But would you rather be in the desert or would you rather be in the office? Because they both get paid the same amount of money. You dig? So uh, that's the best long story short I could give you go active duty first go to national guard first whatever it is get that enlisted experience get your degree commission become an officer that's when you get when you commission i think it's like a second lieutenant you become you get paid more money you have that experience and you, you will have a long lasting fruitful career and that you can retire from because the retirement is amazing you feel me should you join the national guard or should you join active duty ultimately i think ending up in an active duty situation is best um, if you stay enlisted while you're active duty, it's not bad either. But if you want to get paid more and live a better life, why not just go officer? You feel me? That It took me a while to really realize that and, and transition into an officer for the simple fact that I was young and I was just learning as I was going. I didn't really have somebody to tell me what it was. Um, so I was switching my majors. I kept deploying for the Army. Um, I just like... But now that I'm really locking down and I decided to transition to an officer, like, I'm never going back. You feel me? Like, I'm definitely going to make it my career and I'm going to focus on that because I love it. I love the lifestyle. You feel me? 
So uh, I got 20 more seconds and then I could put ads on this video so your boy could get paid. Honestly, guys, I don't make these videos just to get paid. I really don't get anything out of it other than like, you know, answering y'all's questions. I mean, yeah, I get paid, obviously, but I don't do it for that. That's not my number one reason. I really want y'all to make the best informed, most educated decision when joining because a lot of people, a lot of recruiters will honestly will BS you a lot. You feel me? They will BS you and they'll promise you stuff. Sometimes they waste your time. Sometimes you join and you're like, oh, this is not what it is. Um, so I'll leave my contacts below if y'all got any personal questions and stuff. Um, any questions that you guys leave, I'll probably make a longer video and then just go question my question and answer it and all that good stuff. So uh, I hope this helps. I'm going to go work out. Peace.